Hi there, this is Nicole DeBoer, also known as Lieutenant Esri Dax from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. And welcome to Star Trek Fleet Command. Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and a lot of you are always asking, you know, how do I play the accounts and games that I do on PC when I'm basically a YouTuber and content creator for mobile games? But I don't do all the, now there are content creators who do everything on their phone, which shout out and kudos to them, I could not. I've got to have my Photoshop and my, you know, Adobe Premiere and all these other things to, to do all my editing. So I'll just play the games on PC using emulators. Now, let me go ahead and put this out the way. If you're on an Android or iOS device, I've got no help for you. This is for Android users and because we're using an Android emulator. Now, as the name would suggest, we're emulating devices. We're basically telling or pretending that we have a phone on a computer using the same operating system that those phones would use. Now, there are several different varieties I use. I've used all of, well, I've used three major ones. And Bluestacks is the one I use the most often. This is this one. There's also Nox Player. And there's also Mimu, which is created by NetEase, which runs a game that I've played, Eve Echoes. So Bluestacks.com or BigNox.com or MimuPlay.com. They all work virtually the same and the setup is pretty basic you go down to the website you hit the download menu and then you're going to get the installer now since i've already got the installer i'll skip that step but the installing is pretty easy i mean you literally save it and then you run it so if you've ever run an executable file being your downloads folder or in my case just on the desktop literally just run it all you got to do so get it installed now let's talk about the setup process, which I know for some people can be, you know, the, the tedious part. So you're going to open up BlueStacks. It's going to have, a, you know, an icon on your desktop. And we'll go to the Google Play Store first and what you want to do. And you want to go and log in to your account. So I can go like add an account here. You saw I have my main account. And I can go check and log in with whatever account I want to log into. So like... This is not a real email at gmail.com. And I would then go through the sign-in process. Now, I have two-factor authentication turned on. So, like, if I tried to log in with my email and the password, I still need my phone and stuff to log it in. Security is always a good idea. But anyway, let's just go ahead and, um, whoops, didn't mean to back out of that. So we want to log in. Now you see I've got multiple accounts here. And then also, BlueStacks come with, what's called the multi-instance manager. This is how I run multiple accounts. Now, each one of these is uh, like I'll have multiple. I think I've got like three phones. One of them somehow ended up on the ground. So like each one of the phones that I have have got one of my accounts for Star Trek Fleet Command. So this is my main account. I think this is the level 28 account. Uh, sorry, the kids like playing with them. Uh, this is the level 14. I think this is the newest one. This old LG G3. And then this one is like a level 28. So anyway, lots of accounts. But to do them all on computer so I don't have to fumble around with you know, multiple phones and everything, I use the multi-instance manager from BlueStacks to set up those different accounts. Each one of those accounts is tied to a different email address through Gmail. So I have a different Google account for each individual one. So let's go back to our main screen. So we've got our Google set up, and then we're going to get into our game. We're going to use Star Trek Fleet Command as an example. You would simply go to the Google Play Store, which comes pre-installed on all of these, look up Star Trek Fleet Command, and then you would go to install. I've actually got an update here, so why don't we go ahead and just press that update and get that started. Oh, it's not that big. Yay, update. Woohoo! Hopefully that fixes all the lag. Aha! <laughs> yeah. Don't hold my breath. See, so anyway, well, now we're going to open up the game with our new update. And what you're going to find is if you've installed an emulator, even once you've put your account information in, it's probably going to make you go through the tutorial. Basically, it's going to start you off with a brand new account. That's fine. Don't worry about that. What you're going to have to do is go through the steps of the tutorial. It takes about five minutes, maybe ten if you're really lazy. You know, uh, it's taken me time before. It happens, but 
it's really not that difficult to go through. You go through the basics of the game, and then you're going to go to your settings, which you'll see in here in a second when it actually loads up. <sighs> this will bring us to our next point, setting up the settings for your blue stacks. Way to go, blue stacks. Trying to show you off, and you're lagging. Anyway, we're going to our settings right here, and then you'll go to general. So this is what you do to tie your account to blue stacks is you're going to go into general and then right down here is a Google sign in. You need to sign in with your account that you play with on your phone. So your main account, your main email that you use, whatever you use on your account on your phone that's tied to it, you then sign in with the account that you've set up in the Google Play Store. So remember we were just here in the Google Play Store. This icon up here is where we logged in. You can also click these little bars and see my account, my payment information, etc. Make sure it's the same account as the one that you used on your device, and then you want to go into sign in, and that's going to tie it together. And what it'll do is it'll ask, hey, do you want to play this new account and lose this other one? You're going to hit yes. The here, obviously, I'm already linked to it, so we're not going to worry about it. But that then ties your account, and bam, you're good to go. Now let's uh, jump out real quick and look at some of the other things that BlueStacks provides real quick. Let's talk about settings. One thing I recommend is uh, I play in 19 by 20 or 1920 by 1080, which is, you know, high definition. You can go a little bit higher than that. You can also change the DPI, which is the resolution or the. Don't worry about it. Higher, better. Just well, y'all can figure that out next time they go to the engine. You can leave most of this alone, but you do want to come down to performance and I would suggest that you run it on at least medium, preferably high. Uh, I've got mine selected to three cores and running on four megabytes. Uh, this is the amount of memory and then frames per second. I run at 60. I want it to be as high as possible. Honestly, I want the best graphics that I can get for my game. And I've had some better graphics on some of the other emulators, but this one's been the most stable for me. For example, Knox. Uh, when I played Eve Echoes, was a much more beautiful experience, but it also wasn't as uh, stable. So this is what you would go into because in the beginning, it's set to something like this, low and one, which if you run it like this, you're going to find your game, especially Star Trek Fleet Command or any game that's very heavy, uh, even Marvel Strike Force, very laggy when you're going through that. So you want to set that up at least to medium and two. Like I said, for me, I had it set to custom with three cores and four megabytes. And I've got, you know, 12 cores on mine. So it's not too big of a deal. But anyway, after that, that's your main thing. And you can hop back out and just hop into the game. And then for the multi-instance manager, you're really not limited to how many that you have. And you can select and control the basic settings of all of these individually from right here. You can also make copies of them. If I want to make a new one, I can literally make a new one, or I can copy one that I already have, which will have the exact same settings and the exact same profile, all going through the basics you know, of, like I said, emulating. It's not too complicated, but I realize if it's your first time jumping into it, it might seem like a lot. So quick recap, download it, bluestacks.com. You're going to get a little bit of a prompt here. It's going to want to download and go to your desktop, whatever. You're going to save that to your computer and then run the program that downloads. That will then give you, uh, see on mine, I've got the multi-instance manager sitting right here. Just moved it so you can see it. But you'll get BlueStacks on your desktop. You see I've also got Knox sitting here, all my emulators. You're just going to open it up and run it. And then I'm running BlueStacks right here. First thing you want to do, go into your Google Play Store. You're going to want to make sure your account is set up and locked in. So you're just going to log in with your account. It's really not that hard to do. Just hit add another account. And then if you're for the Star Trek Fleet Command crowd that are here, you're simply going to go to your game, go through the tutorial, then go into settings, general, and make sure that you log in. And once it gets logged in, you're all set. You're ready to play and use it on your computer, which helps take the strain off you sitting there on your screen going through a million difficult dailies every day on Star Trek. Hopefully this helps. I know a lot of people have been asking how I do it and what I use. So this is the answer. And uh, if this video was helpful, smash the like button. If it wasn't helpful, ask your questions specifically about setting it up. And if you need help setting up one-on-one, -on -one, as always, I like to help out everybody who helps out me. So reach out to me on Discord or Facebook. That's it. Live long and prosper. Stay safe other Space Cowboys, and we'll catch you on the next video of uh, Star Trek Fleet Command and Blue Stacks. Really not hard to set up emulators, guys. It's, it's super simple. Easier than you thought. Remember, 
Spock doesn't go on the Enterprise. Live long and prosper. All the best. An even better outro than the intro! Yeah! Woo!